This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. As if this isn't crazy enough, look at this story, which Fox News and other outlets are reporting that the former or a former Google and Uber engineer is developing an AI god, artificial intelligence god. Not only that, but this guy, Anthony Lewandowski, has filed paperwork with the IRS to officially register a religion centered around super smart artificial Intelligence. According to IRS documents, the new church of AI will aim to, quote, develop and promote the realization of a Godhead based on artificial intelligence and through understanding and worship of the Godhead contribute to the betterment of society. The robot God will head a nonprofit religious organization called Way of the Future. According to the website, the movement is about creating a peaceful and respectful transition of who is in charge of the planet from people to people to machines. I mean, are you kidding me? Is this really happening where people are seeing this and they're thinking that this is normal and this is okay? I mean, I'm not even joking. We know that there's going to be rights for these things. I talked about the one, you know, uh, I forget what its name is, maybe Sophia, the one that's in, uh, went to Saudi Arabia, became a citizen, has more rights than women do, because women aren't even allowed to drive cars there. <laughs> this thing has more rights than women. This is insanity. I'll tell you right now, I said it before. I mean, before, you know, they're going to take these AI things, and they're going to have, like, if you, if you go near one and push it or make fun of it, like, you're going to go to jail. And we're talking about robots. I mean, this is what I'm doing if I see one of these things walking down my road. I mean, it's insane. Insane. And at the same time, of course... They're talking about Dan Brown, who is just a satanic slime bag. And his new book, he's the guy who wrote Angels and Demons and the Da Vinci Code. He has a new book on God and artificial intelligence called Origin. And he talks about the crossing the lines between the two. Talking about how artificial intelligence is going to play a major, major role. He loves technology. If he's fascinated by AI, they're convincing everybody that this is for the betterment of humanity. These freak show robots. Fox News reporting on it, saying the concept of an AI god may seem outlandish, but a former Google engineer is touching, taking the idea of a high-tech deity as a way to improve society. Think about how much we depend on Apple, Siri, and Amazon Alexa today. Uh, don't depend on it at all. Thanks. Who out there is depending on Apple, Siri, and Amazon Alexa? I mean, is it that hard for you to uh, turn off the lights for crying out loud? Isn't that what these stupid things do? Hey, Alexa, flush the toilet for me. Hey, Alexa, can you dim the lights? How about you get up and dim the lights yourself? You that lazy? Hey, Alexa, can you uh, play a song from Bon Jovi for me? I mean, get a grip, people. Get a grip. We asked the AI bot for directions to check on the weather and to dim the lights in our house. Oh, to check on the weather. How about this? Turn your head, look out the window, and take a look. That hard to do? Oh, you need the forecast for the 10-day? Yeah, that's real accurate. Few of us know the complex engineering required to make this happen. We just trust it will work. By 2029, computers will reach human levels of intelligence, according to one theory. In fact, Google already uses a bot called the Assistant that can answer just about any web search-related inquiry. Could what we trust and rely on so heavily on a daily basis evolve into a religion or cult? I mean, clearly we know the, you know, the Antichrist here is going to be some type of artificial being. It's going to be involved with artificial intelligence. That's pretty clear because the thing's going to be performing miracles. So it's going to be some type of, you know, AI transhumanism piece of garbage. 
And you can only hope that somebody can get close enough to the thing to use a chainsaw on it. Oh, is that violence? Excuse me. We can't remember, folks. It's hate speech. We can't we can't talk down on the Antichrist, or we all might get banned from free speech. My channel might get deleted if I say that I want to kick the Antichrist in the throat. Now that's hate speech. Now you got to respect the Antichrist. I mean, this world. I'll tell you. A well-known engineer who worked at, worked at Google is uh, starting this AI-based religion, which I said before, way of the future. Uh, the recent coverage of AI as a single unified power is a predictable upshot of a self aggrandizing Silicon Valley culture that believes it can summon a godhead. I mean, should I repeat that? It can summon a godhead through artificial intelligence. According to Arnold, the idea of an AI religion is really more about the tech elite thinking they could summon a religion from whole cloth, similar to how the industry thinks one single app can be transcendent in society or life changing. In some way. Instead, he argues that the cold and impractical nature of technology is not exactly a match made in heaven. The ideas of mourning loss, tragedy, social justice, and larger responsibilities to a neighbor, which the world religious tradition have gradually developed resources to accommodate, reflect upon, and offer rich reframings thereof, are largely dispensed with in the AI as religious ev ev evocations. He says, God only knows if anyone will worship an AI that's so sterile. Oh, they'll worship the AI. Of course they will, because, the, I mean, look at the zombies walking around us now. They worship, you know, Katy Perry, for crying out loud. You don't think they're going to worship this thing when it's, like, you know, floating around doing its lame, gay, artificial intelligence acts? Hey, look at me. Ask me any question, and I know the answer to it. Uh, what is a douchebag? Oh, you are, Antichrist, artificial intelligent religion. I mean, this is just the future, folks. An AI could write... This is how, of course, they end the article. An AI could write a Bible for how to live and expect humans to become subservient. Yeah, not on my watch. I'll take the AI Bible and I'll stack it up as extra toilet paper in the event that, uh, you know, they start shutting down stores and we got to grab leaves out of the woods to use. I'll just use a copy of the AI Bible. But they're telling you right there. An AI could write a Bible for how to live and expect humans to become subservient. Because they will. Right? And I can tell you what will be in the AI Bible. Love everything. Love everyone. Tolerate all. Let everybody respect everyone's religion, even if it involves sacrificing children. Respect it. Love it. Deal with it. Artificial intelligence. There's your Bible. That's what they're going to teach everybody. Because the Antichrist is coming in the name of peace and love. And we already see this movement going on. Everybody, love, love, love. Tolerate, tolerate, tolerate. Let a four-year-old decide that it's trans. I mean, you can't make it up. It says it's one reason Elon Musk has decried the dangers of AI, saying superintelligence is more dangerous than North Korean nukes. Musk has slammed the concept of an AI god. Nonetheless, AI is clearly extending its reach into society. A podcaster named Rose Eveleth helped create an algorithm that wrote an AI Bible gathered from sacred writings. Oh, I wonder what those writings are. Probably low-life witchcraft pagan books, quote-unquote pagan, right? These people who claim they worship the bushes out in your yard, who really worship Satan, as if any of us are buying it. Said the algorithm that wrote the AI Bible gathered from sacred writings, it's remarkable exor exercise, even though the result is mostly gibberish. Whether that really matters is open to debate. Oh, so this is what people are doing in their spare time. They're creating algorithms so a robot could write a Bible and teach us how to live. It said an AI would provide, get this, the equivalent of a messiah having many orders of magnitude, more processing elements than the brain, enabling it to gift us with solutions to the most daunting social, political, economic, and environmental challenges. Says Dr. Stephen Taller, the president and CEO of Imagination Engines, who is an AI and conscious, consciousness expert. This guy might be a consciousness expert, but he's clueless when it comes to anything that's really important in this world. Because if this guy thinks... That this AI robot is going to be the Messiah. He's got another thing coming on Judgment Day. Jesus is going to launch the AI Messiah. He's going to launch it like it's a turd right into the pit where it belongs. These people are just wicked. I mean, this is what they're doing. These people are making 
millions of dollars, and not that that matters, but you know, they're set up for life because they're all, you know, networked in these secret societies. And this is what this guy's doing in his spare time. This is really going to help humanity, making an artificial intelligence messiah, an artificial intelligence religion, artificial intelligence Bible. I mean, boy, get your flamethrowers ready, folks. Because these things are going to be marching down the road, and sadly, the zombies out there, because they'll put stories out, oh, the artificial intelligence robot saved a child from a burning house. The artificial intelligence robot, right? They'll get people emotionally invested in these freaks. I mean, robots, for crying out loud. Oh, can you believe it? Oh, everything the AI robot says is wonderful, Right, they'll have it trained to just say positive things all the time. Oh, it's great! And then when we see one come down the street, we get a flamethrower out, we torch the thing. People will probably shoot at us. How dare you murder the AI robot? Uh, it's a robot. It's like taking your computer and smashing it against the floor. That's what it's like. I mean, the article just goes on to say. That they expect the AIs that evolve in the next 50 years to be very rational and if conscious not would want to be worshipped. If they have the human race's best interest at heart, then they would want us to have as much right of self-determination as possible. Right. So this is just more of the same crap. Self-empowerment. They want us to have as much right of self-determination as possible. Yeah, that's exactly what the stinking robot wants, who's programmed by some Satanist. I mean, people are going to buy it, folks. They're going to be worshiping a robot, an artificial intelligence robot. People are going to join the religion. They're just going to push it as what? Peaceful. Oh, we're going to evolve. This is what humanity needs, this type of technology, right? Obviously, they're going to, with the artificial intelligence, the Antichrist, they'll come out. We've got the cure for cancer now. Get this chip in your body, right? Become an AI. Get an artificial limb. Okay, I won't get cancer. And the zombies will just follow suit like they always do. Absolutely sickening. I don't know what else to say at this point. Artificial intelligence God. Give me a break. There's only one Messiah. And he's the King of Kings, Jesus Christ. He's not some stinking robot. He's not a Terminator walking down the street. This isn't Johnny Five from Short Circuit. The people out there are going to think that Johnny Five from Short Circuit is the Messiah. Then I guess they deserve to get thrown into the pit. I thank you again for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.